welcome today I'm gonna to be making for you all bread pudding and this is just my version and for this you're going to need some bread and I have here a very firm bread I'm using the pepperidge farm hearty white bread and I cut it into small cubes and I cut the brown parts off so I'm using three quarters of the loaf you'll need some salt some royal vanilla instant pudding milk which is whole milk eggs evaporated milk condensed milk and I'm using condensed milk in place of sugar some cinnamon two cinnamon leaves just to give this some Caribbean flavor I have a little bit of creme de cassis some vanilla essence cherry chopped mixed peel and raisins so let's get started on putting this together so I'm gonna start by putting all of my fruits into one bowl To this I'm going to add the creme de cassis which is the current liquor and if you don't have creme de cassis you can use any type of liquor you like. Give this a mix and set aside. Okay now to make the custard we're going to put all of the other ingredients into one big bowl. So the eggs. I'm putting in the cement leaf but I'm just going to like just squish it with my hands to get that flavor out and I don't want to break it up because I want to be able to fish these out after. So the cinnamon leaf, the evaporated milk, the whole milk, condensed milk, cinnamon, if you wanted to put some nutmeg or pumpkin spice in this, you can also. Essence or vanilla. I'm putting in one package of the royal pudding. And I'm going to put in a pinch of salt. Whisk everything to combine. mix everything to combine now I'm leaving the cinnamon leaves in there when you're eating you just want to be careful and you want to take those out and if you wanted to take it out now before you put it to bake you can but I want that flavor of that cinnamon leaf to really infuse into this bread pudding so just mix let everything combine okay next you're gonna put your bread pudding mixture into your greased baking dish and I'm actually going to be doing two a small one and a larger one so you can do them like in mini you can do that you can do these in muffin tins so you can make mini um bread pudding you can do a big one you can do various sizes it's all up to you Now I'm going to put these into the oven at 350 degrees and let it bake for about 45 minutes to an hour. You'll want to check it and make sure it's done. When it's finished, I'll come in and show you guys what it looks like. So the smaller one of the bread pudding that I made it's just finished so as you can see how much it has puffed up make sure when you're putting these into the baking dish or your muffin tins you don't fill it right up so just do three quarter of the way because it will puff up while it's baking I'm now I'm just gonna wait for the other one to finish before I slice it and show you guys what it looks like on the inside so the bread pudding the other one, the big one just came out and I want to tell you all, if you're making these in small portions, remember the cook time will be less. Just like the smaller one took less time, which was half an hour, and this one took the full 45 minutes. So make sure you guys don't leave it for a whole 45 minutes if you make it really small. So if you make it really small, I say 10 to 15 minutes max, once it puffs up, it will be ready. Wow. 
No. Here you have it, my bread pudding. Now, as you all can see, this is still piping hot, so it's very soft still. But if you leave this to cool out as long as possible, it will solidify and you will get a really nice slice of bread pudding. So here you have it, my bread pudding recipe. You guys, the cinnamon leaf in this makes it taste so good. You all have to try this recipe. It's absolutely divine. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Make it and let me know down below if you like it. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below for me. Um, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm quite active on Instagram. And if you message me on Instagram, I'm sure I will answer you. So thank you all and I will see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy! Enjoy!